Combined newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay. KVAL News at 11 starts now. If you were in the Eugene Springfield area today, you probably noticed the smoky skies and the smell of smoke in the air. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brisa Mendez. Travis Knutson with the Lane Regional Air Protection Agency tells us that smoke is coming from the Cedar Creek fire burning east of Oak Ridge. The body of a missing Eugene man has been found on the Willamette River near Harrisburg Wednesday morning. According to the Benton County Sheriff's Office, the body of 36-year-old Justin Grossman was located on a small island. When wildfires affect the area where you live, you need to get information on the status of the fire and what to do if you need to evacuate as soon as possible. And social media has become a crucial part of that. We spoke to a longtime public information officer who says she's seen the way things have changed and spreading that information. In the past, fire officials were drawing maps by hand with a pencil and hosting meetings in person. Now they're creating digital maps having live Facebook meetings and answering questions in common sections online. The ability to allow us to personally, more personally, talk to a lot. Of we near the anniversary of the terror attacks of 9-11. We are remembering those who fought and died in the wars following those attacks. And while there is not yet a monument in Washington, a modern day memorial is now in the works. National correspondent Christine Forzow introduces us to the group behind it and what we can expect in the coming weeks. Hurry up. No matter how hard they train, there are elements of battle most can never fully prepare for when a friend or family member or brother or sister in arms doesn't make it home. The attacks on the FBI must stop. Calls to defund the FBI are just as wrong as calls to defund the police. Recent years, many progressive Democrats call for defunding the police following the police-related death of George Floyd. FEMA is taking steps to better engage Native American tribes as they face climate-related disasters. The agency announcing a new strategy to work with more than 500 federally recognized tribal nations. The strategy includes $50 million in grants to help tribes deal with issues related to extreme weather. A, unfortunately, don't think we'll be seeing the northern lights, but maybe our friends up in Washington will. It's just that cloud coverage that's kind of putting a damper on our parade here with this. And Brisa, some of those Facebook messages, too, I've received are saying, well, you know, we missed out on the <laughs> last eclipse. We've yeah. missed out on uh, meteor showers. Uh, it's what comes with the cloud coverage. It does. You know, with Mother Nature, you get what you get and you don't yeah. throw a fit. But you know what, Josh? My mom does live up in Washington near yeah. Seattle. And according to your graphic, that looks like it's going to be the best viewing. So I'm going to call her after the show and make sure she gets out there, hopefully grab some pictures. Yeah, north <laughs> northeasterly sky. Yes. Next on KVAL News at 11, we've gone over tips to keep you and your family safe during wildfire season. But what about your pets? Coming up, what you should know about pet safety and fires. A memorial service earlier today honoring Colin Hagen, the wildland firefighter who was killed fighting the Big Swamp Fire southeast of Oak Ridge. Hagen was struck by a tree and later died from his injuries. Over the weekend, he was flown home in the care of an honor guard. In the face of this tragedy, there's so much joy in knowing Colin's spirit will be present in the hearts of those in our community and with the friends he has made fighting wildland fires across the country. Hagan was a part of a hotshot crew based out of Colorado and assigned it to Oregon to help battle wildfires. He was 27 years old. We hear a lot about preparing for wildfires, having evacuation bags ready, and keeping an eye on the fires in our area. But what about keeping our pets safe? Our own Billy Spots reports. With wildfire season coming to a head, it's important to not only look out for yourself, but your animals as well. I asked Green Hill Humane. And they're taken to the escape room of their choice, which are based on classic scary movies like It, Insidious, and A Quiet Place. Well, Josh, and Hayden, this is definitely not the theater that I would check out. What about you, Josh? Absolutely. Really? Oh, God. As I no see way. Hayden shaking no. his head. I have head. been shaking my head for the past 30 <laughs> seconds looking at this video. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I love haunted houses, Halloween. Sign me up. I'll be in line. Uh, what movie would you go into in the theater? Ooh. It. Yeah. 
Maybe City. it. Okay, that oh, one's a good the red one. balloon. No, it's yeah. freaky. I'm get, I'm getting PTSD right now. I was <laughs> so scared of that that movie growing up. I, this is not for me, but definitely for Josh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Josh, go for it. I'll go. I'll let you guys know how. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us here on KVAL News. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night.